Greetings. Um, this is the Kerbal Space Program. Um, interesting little game. Um, I only have the demo version. Um, been playing around with it, doing various things, and uh, saw some of the videos on YouTube um, about uh, interplanetary. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, some stuff on huge ships and um, going into into system, and I thought, well, I wonder, I wonder if the demo system has multiple systems. So I decided I was going to do whatever it takes to build a rocket to escape the. Uh, the sun. So, here is my little rocket. Let's go and blast off, shall we? Let's see if we can do this again. I've just done it. Just been able to do it. So, hopefully, I'll be able to repeat it on camera. I'll just turn the volume down a bit. Yes, many, many, many attempts to do this, um, including some that spectacularly like to explode, which is always amusing. staging, still at full throttle, release, go, oh slight little wobble there, come on, oh I think I've got a structural failure on the other side, I can see one of the bells, wobbling nuts. Didn't spot that the first time around. Well, it looks like the SAS is uh, taking care of it. Barely. Oh, she's listing. PC barely runs this ship. Uh oh, this might be a failure. Release. Go. Oh, I might have bollocksed it. I'll sort it out. There we go. We might be good. We might still be good. Fingers crossed. Touching mud. One thing that I have noticed. Oh, behave. One thing that I have noticed with this stage that it's on now. If you look on the left hand side, which is stage 8. You'll notice the bottom booster fuel, even though it's the exact same as the others, isn't depleting as fast. Kind of interesting. There we go, just that little bit left in the center. Right, it's gone. Let's um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go. Right, 
hopefully it will stay in that orientation. In fact, should I risk it? Let's take a look. Yeah, not quite uh, escaped planet Kerbal's gravitational field yet. stage. Go. Whee. I think we're just about going to miss the moon. Ah, oh, sorry, moon. And there's the sun. Just launched from Planet Kerbal just at the right time. He thinks. I haven't even ignited the last stage yet. And the last stage is a long, slow burn. Come on now. Come on. Let's have a look, see how we're doing. Still right on the money. Come on. So we've got plenty of fuel left. Now of course, uh, on board with us is Jebediah Kerman. Freshly recovered from hospital after uh, um, a slight accident with a mountain, I believe it was. Oh, oh, I'm zoomed out as far as I can. Any moment. And there we go. I made a rocket that escapes the sun. Interplanetary, here we come. Still got plenty of fuel left. Not that I'll have enough to uh, do anything, even if I did encounter a system. Where am I going? God knows. I just wanted to escape the sun.
It's interesting how you see the uh, the bend here and then a straight line as it just escapes the gravitational pull. What's our fuel level like? Well, Jebediah is still smiling, so uh, he's obviously really enjoying the uh, trip. Which I'm not surprised, considering he's about to be uh, the first Kerbal to uh, escape the. Uh, Solar system. We're currently still recording the speed um, for the orbit of uh, um, Kerbal. That's uh, sixty-three, six point three thousand meters per second. Six point five. Six point six. Six point seven. Six point eight. Six point nine. 7,000 meters per second. Seven point one thousand meters per second. Right, Jets in the last stage. Gives us a little bit of an extra boost. And now we let Sir Isaac Newton take Jabadiah to uh, God knows where. Um, I would say somewhere that away, out towards that dust cloud. Oh, that's an interesting graphics bug. Hmm. Yes, that away, Jebediah. Let's throttle back and chuck up the time acceleration. Debris fields in, in orbit around the sun. Where is it gone now? Ah, well. Is there an edge? Does it explode when it gets... Uh, too far away? Who knows? But according to this, it's ballistic from the sun. There's no return trajectory selected. Or displayed, I should say. Of course, they could have just uh, cheated and uh, made it so that uh, if you were able to uh, escape the sun, then it just keeps a constant gravitational pull on you, so eventually you do come back. That would be annoying.
but still. Kerbal Space Program KSP um, demo version has rather limited uh, uh, parts available, um, but the full version is, of course, unlimited on parts and you can make your own and whatnot. Some of the things that I've seen people build must have took weeks, if not months, to construct. It's also a shame that there isn't uh, um, a networkable version of KSP. That would be good, being able to uh, fly with friends. And yes, I'm also aware of, um, shall we say, weaponized ships that are out there. That'd be interesting. I wonder what's at the end of that green line. I'm going to sit here and just record till the end of that green line. Extremely interested. I wonder if that's the edge of the map, so to speak. Is it just going to hit a brick wall and explode? How much life support those things have? It's only a standard pod. Is he even still alive? Yeah, and he's grinning like a chushy cat. Jebediah is most happy. Unfortunately, we'll, we will never see him again. past that point and we're drawing a line back to it. Why are we drawing the line back to it? Well, we didn't explode, I suppose. Well, I'm zoomed out as far as I can. Well, I don't know where we're going, but we're going there pretty quick. Anyway, that's me done with this video. It's um, going that away. What's out there? Well, Jebediah will find out uh, later. <laughs> anyway, um, this game's quite amusing. Mm, yeah, 
okay, and it's addictive. Right, talk to you later. Bye for now.